So here in four minutes or less, I'm going to go over a quick reminder of things to include in plan section and elevation. First, lay down your trace over your underlay, work out a plan, figure out columns, walls, roof overhangs, any modifications to what's underneath, and then bring through whatever's left that you're not changing. From there, we'll move on to uh, darkening your, your cut lines, anything that cuts through a wall, a column, your primary surfaces should start to pop. After that, add a little color so you can start to see what's where when you throw the next a layer of trace down. On that layer, think about where you want to cut your sections. The first section I cut is, well, to me the most interesting one. It's the one where I'm going to see the roof shape and start to think about what it feels like to be inside this space. Notice I'm going to darken my section line. I'm going to add a person in there. I'm going to add a sense of that background fence. Start to think about the way the water moves, the way the trees surround the area, and uh, add a few notes. And of course, my title block at the bottom. And there it is, with a little bit of color uh, souped up. Now, for my next drawing, I'm going to do my longitudinal section. And to do that, I'm going to lay trace down on my plan and start to bring some of the information in some of the changes that I'm making because of that section that I had um, on the transverse and what it told me about what I want to do here. Namely, I want to cut through the water feature rather than try to go, I don't know, up and over it, <laughs> seeing as how it's above ground. It also means I want to enhance that experience. I'm going to step down as I go in, but I'm not really here to talk about the design. I want you thinking about the way that, that you work back and forth between plan and section, as I'm showing here, and the way that those two drawings can sort of inform each other as you draw. See me flipping to the plan to update the plan and then adding detail into the section, um, starting to really create a sense of this thing as, as a built structure. All right, same thing here as on the previous section. Add your color, darken your cut line with your sign pen, um, add figures so that we get a sense of the scale and finish out the drawing. You've got your title, your scale, your people, and you're done. All right, on to the next one. Now I'm going to take the information, the changes that I've made, the things that I've learned from that, those sectional drawings, and I'm going to update my plan, draw a fresh plan on top of the old one, uh, label things, tidy it up, uh, make sure it reads clearly. Each time I make changes to the design, I'll go back and update the plan, show the new conditions as I currently understand them. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my section, the one that tells me the most about the design, the way it feels to be in that space. I'm going to lay it down. In this case, I turn it upside down because I want to look at the building rather than out at the landscape. Turn it upside down, lay a piece of trace over, and start drawing the elevation. The elevation is just going to be what I see from out in the courtyard. In this case, I'm checking some of my work, adding a title, adding some detail, some color, some trees, and the elevation is done. That's not the end, of course. That's the beginning. That's one layer of drawing at 1,500%, about an hour's design time. I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to look at various other possibilities for adding perhaps a layer of enclosure, screening, polycarbonate paneling, something to give it a little more of a three-season use. Notice that as I draw these, I get all the light lines in, and then I go back in with the heavier sign pen and darken up the section cut. That is the things which are cut through uh, in, in the view of the section that I'm drawing. That means the ground, that means structural elements, um, anything that my section plane would cut through is shown. And this is when I start to have fun with different possibilities for structure, for enclosure, and really explore the design because now I have a real good sense of the space that I'm creating. That's what these drawings are for.